To create the side panels for the game cabinet, we could just use the box modeling technique again, starting with a flattened cube. But Maya includes a lot of other great modeling tools which might be useful for your own 3D projects, so we're going to explore a few of them in this video. The Create Polygon command is another tool which can be found in the main menu under the Mesh Tools menu. Create Polygon allows you to create a polygon with as many sides as you want by plotting one vertex at a time. We'll activate the Create Polygon tool, then go to our side view and trace over the reference image to create a polygon which matches the silhouette of the game cabinet. Then we'll press Enter to complete the operation. When modeling assets for most game engines, we're free to create polygons with as many sides as needed because all the geometry will ultimately be split into triangles when it's displayed or rendered with lighting and textures in the game engine. But generally, it's preferable to avoid creating polygons with more than four sides, also known as n-gons. One reason is that textures sometimes appear warped or distorted when applied to n-gon geometry. But another reason is that 3D models created for film and video often require using polygons with four sides, also known as quad modeling, for optimal animation and texturing results. If you can develop good habits creating game models, you'll be a lot more comfortable creating 3D art for other projects. Adding bevels to a model can also produce n-gons, so we've already created a bit of messy geometry for this model. We'll go back and clean up some of the unwanted beveling issues in a later video, but for now, I'd like to take a moment to break this multi-sided polygon into quads in hopes of keeping the geometry as clean as possible before moving forward. For this side panel, I'm going to eliminate the ingons by using Maya's multi-cut tool. The multi-cut tool can be found here in the modeling toolkit and also within the mesh tools menu. Multi-cut allows us to insert new edges by clicking on an edge to create a new point then clicking on an opposite or adjacent edge to insert a new edge. Pressing Enter completes the operation. If you hold the left mouse button down and drag along the edges, the multi-cut tool will snap to existing vertices, inserting new edges without adding additional verts. I'll insert a few new edges in this ingon to modify the topology or flow of edges on the surface. I'll snap to existing verts when possible, and with just a few cuts, I can easily replace the ingon with quads. It's best to distribute quads evenly across your surface rather than creating concentrated areas of detail. Quads that are closer to a square shape tend to produce better visual results than elongated rectangles. With this panel profile shape complete, we'll give the panel some thickness by clicking on the Extrude button in the Modeling Toolkit. Then, we'll round out the hard edges by holding down the Shift key to select all of the edges along the hard corners. Then we'll click on the bevel button and adjust the fraction and segments attribute values. As a final detail, we'll add some bevels to the extruded area by double clicking on the edge loops around the inner and outer profile shapes while holding down the shift key until all these edges have been selected. One more click on the bevel tool and the side panel is finished. I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate the panel and then I'll move the second panel into position.